guys. So today's video is going to be a mukbang. I went to Five Guys. So I went to Five Guys and um, a bitch was hungry. So yeah, I'm just so ready for school because these fries are getting cold. And I hate, mm -mm. no. I just about eating now. Like, I should have been eating. Cause I'm hungry as hell. You know what I love about Five Guys? How they give you fries, right? They give you fries, and then they like fill like your bag with fries too. So I got a hamburger, basic, because I don't do cheese, I don't do cheeseburgers, I don't do none of that. Ain't nobody got time for that. But um, their burgers are kind of bland to me, so I asked them for a side of their Cajun stuff, their Cajun seasoning that they carry there. And then um, I have some of this, and then I have some of this, it's like special sauce. So I'm gonna eat my burger with that, because you know we gotta spice it up. Cause there's one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat it. Um, I want you guys to see my food. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, look at my burger. So yeah, um, so I got a regular burger, and then I got like the extra stuff on the side, like I just showed you guys. Um, I don't understand how my fries are getting cold so quick. So I want to like talk about a couple things with you guys. I want to be like more so like a girl talk thing. And why my burger looking all upset? Let me show you guys what I'm doing, what I'm doing currently. I hope my camera don't fall. So I'm just putting a little seasoning on each burger. Like they didn't even dress my shit up that nice. Like hold up. <gasps> oh Jesus. This camera, mm, patience is running real slim. So I don't have a knife, so we gonna have to get real ghetto on this bitch. This is a very, very ghetto mukbang. So I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time in case you wanna exit out now. So, I'm putting the mayonnaise. Um, I'm putting the mayonnaise on the burger. I couldn't help but I eat it. And I used to get the Cajun fries. I don't get it anymore, but the way I used to eat the Cajun fries was so weird too. Like, I would literally get the Cajun fries, right? And then dip it into mayonnaise. I don't know if it was more so that the mayonnaise was like cooling it off, but the combination was so fire. Don't knock until you try it. Then I'm putting my onions all over the place. Like, I don't even like these kind of onions. I like red onions. Bougie bitches eat red onions. Not no white onions. These are McDonald's onions. Yeah. We just gonna put a little razzle dazzle on that. And then we gonna drop some of this on that. And there you go. There you have it, my people. Remixed by me. Let's hope my camera wants to chill right there. We got no no problems. So this has been a really weird week for me. Like I've been having like good things and weird thing, uh, good things and bad things happening. So I'm like just trying to like take stuff in one at a time. But I don't know. I panic a lot. Like I'm just somebody who was always panicking. So we forgot. I still got more fries in the bag. Oh my god, this is a lot of fries. <laughs> Lord, it wasn't supposed to be like this. I should have got a small because I'm not gonna eat these all. So good. Like, oh, really so good. That lady on YouTube, her name is So Good. She has a trademark that. I wonder if she can, but she has a trademark that shit. We probably someone tried to make money off of her. Cause she'd just be saying they're so soothing. and she'd be like, it's so good. <laughs> like, I love her. I could watch her for hours. But I need to stop eating tracks so I can eat this burger. Because this burger, I'm about to slap, bitch, because you see what I did. I got my little magic touch on it. <sighs> I wish I had some liquor with this. Like... A milkshake is okay. And this is an Oreo milkshake, by the way. But liquor goes good with everything. That sounds real alcoholish of me. Let me stop. 
So let me stop. All right, so we're gonna take a first bite into the burger. Y'all see that? Mmm. 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 Side profile. Ooh, honey. Let me take a nice bite for y'all. No, my onions are falling out. This is so. This is what I mean. McDonald's ass onions. Yup, I did that. I did that, bitch. Like, I literally did that. I haven't been drunk in so long, though. I don't really like getting drunk. Like, I, I like getting light drunk. Like... There's levels to being drunk. They're like moderately drunk, intermediate, or intermediate, moderate, and then whatever the last one is. I like getting like, I think moderately drunk. Because you're like drunk, but you still having fun. I don't like when you're drunk and you feel all weird and your body feels like it's about to just. <laughs> no. Nah. Mm, too much. I don't mean that drunk. Nope. No thanks. Girl, this sandwich is a bustin'. It's bustin'. It's bustin'. Mm. I don't like these fries right now, though. They taste too cold. I wonder if I put them in the air fryer. If I put them in the air fryer, they might taste better. But I don't feel like doing all that. That's too much. That's too much. That's too much. So, have you guys watched P Valley? This, like, if you haven't, what are you doing? Like, that show is so good. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I didn't get it, like, the first 20 minutes, so I stopped watching it, like, a month ago. And then I started it again because I finished watching the show Ambition that's also on Stars. These are both on Stars, by the way. Um, why am I eating my burger upside down? Hello. That show's a shit. Like, I'm trying not to binge watch it. But I can't help it. I'm on episode three. And there's only six episodes as of right now. Because it's still like a failing new show. But I'm just mad I just started it. Because now I want to like hurry up and watch the whole thing. Fiending. So. I don't know. But it's a really good ass show. I highly recommend. It's basically about like a strip club. Out in like. It seems like it's like in the Midwest. So everybody got like those, you know, Western accents. So it's a really good show. And it really makes you look at strippers differently. Like, and I'm not saying like in a bad way. Like, you really see like, it should be on the strip club that strippers have to deal with. They go through everyday shit. Just like us. Sometimes even worse. Like, some of them are in there because they've had to run away from like certain shit. Um... There's, like, no looking back. They had to start a new life. Like, the main character in the show, she basically started because she had to start a new life. Like, she ran away. She was being abused by her man. As much as I know now, because I'm going to see... I'm only on episode three. But, yeah, she was basically running away from her past. So, um, I just... I really like it. You guys should definitely watch it. My, um, my face is going to start getting so oily. Whenever I eat, it's like my pores open up and just start shooting out oil. I should shoot out. I don't know if I'm able to finish this burger. Oh my god. How long is good sex to you guys? Should I not be acting that while I'm eating? No, I don't care. Good sex to me is like... An hour to 45 minutes. <laughs> and that's like not even including foreplay. Done to that work, that work, work, work. Sorry, I got, I got the stamina, bitch. Like, I did track in high school, I did chilling, soccer, volleyball. Bitch, I got the time. I just feel like good sex is supposed to be an hour at the least. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Like, whoa. I'm trying to have a little microphone so you guys can hear me chilling. Let me see if I can get close and hear me. 
Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Yo, it's hot in here. I want to turn my AC on, but you guys are going to complain. But yeah, like I was saying, I feel like guys nowadays, they just never have the energy for sex, but they always want to be having sex. Like, you only have the energy to do that shit. Why bother me? Like, step your cookies up. They'd be the ones to be like, step your cookie up. No, you step your cookie up. Your ass can't last a damn 15 minutes with me. I'm <laughs> Slow down. I hate when a nigga be like, slow down. Slow down for what? We ain't slowing down. We ain't slowing down, poo. Pack that shit up. Pack that shit the fuck up. I'm sweating. Like, literally sweating. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this whole thing. Because I'm hot. Like, so hot. But this burger is really hitting. These fries is hitting. Everything's hitting. I'm eating like a pig right now. I don't usually eat like this. Oh my god, I'm so full. Literally, I cannot eat for the rest of the day. I'll vomit. I feel bad because you guys can't see my food. The rule of thumb is, in relationships, never like a man until he loves you. Once a nigga sees you're in love, it's a wrap. He knows you can do anything, say anything, get away with anything because he knows you love him. And that's just how it goes. I really see all that because niggas really will take advantage. They live for that shit. Like, if you don't text me back, I promise you. I promise you. Huh. I'm full, guys. I wanted to finish all of this. Let me try, let me show you guys the damage. So I wanted to finish all of this. Plus these. But, honestly, yeah, I'm full. I'll take one more. Mm, I have some food to burn it on. I don't know how they be doing it. Like, I just never like seen a worse generation of men. Like, honestly, and that's why I like dating older guys. Older guys are more mature. They know what the fuck they're doing. They know what the fuck a woman wants. They're not press about no pussy they really want to get to know you like intellectually like this generation of men trash give me my little grandpa pushing him around in his wheelchair bringing him to the grocery store and we gonna be straight i don't need no little ass boy like no if you pimping i'm pimping too like do these niggas how they do you grease them I should be the advocate for that because I be running niggas out. I don't I don't give a fuck about that whole being a good girl, being sweet, you know, morals. Cause bitch, I got morals. Just know I got morals. I don't be bouncing my twat every week for a different guy. But just know when it comes to doing what I want, no niggas gonna tell me what to do without no type of security deposit down. Believe that. Their milkshakes be so thick. Like me. Literally, I'm so full. The only thing I think I'm gonna finish is the shake. I'm hoping that it goes all straight to my ass. That's the plan. So I'm sorry if you guys couldn't see all my food throughout the video, but you guys seen it going into my mouth, so that's all that should really matter. What? But you people who really do love like mukbangs and you know, who live for that shit, I'm sorry because I know you probably are expecting more, but um, I think I'm gonna wrap it all up. I'm super full. I'm super tired. I have the itis now. And I'm still washing my freaking sheet. So I can't even go lay down. <laughs> oh my god. I'm in the middle of washing my sheet. So I literally cannot lay down. So life is great. Yo, I was trying to tell my mom the other day. About this fake dimple I have. She be thinking I'm lying. But I know y'all see it. Wait for it. 
Like, it's literally damn near so faint, but it's there. It's there, bitch. Don't play with me. They have a place, though, in Atlanta, and they do this thing called Dimple Plasty. I was actually really considering it because, like, mine is, like... You know, it's faint, but it's there. So I feel like if he were to just, like, make an incision... Like, if he were to do that, it would just make it, like, actually more apparent instead of when I do, like... Because I literally have to, like, fake a smile so hard just for you to see it. Let me know in the comments if I should do that. And if I do do it, I'll definitely vlog. But I was definitely considering it because... I just love dimples like I really do I think they're so cute my little brother has like the deepest dimples and they like are on both sides of his cheeks so they just go in but I don't think I would look nice with um two dimples like I think one dimple would do just fine and this is the side that I usually smile on or like when I take pictures that's usually on this side this shake is so thick so we literally lost a whole year to corona thank you miss corona but what are you guys' plans for the rest of the year? Like, I am planning to make the best of what we have left of this year, if you guys want to call it that, that ass year. So, my goal this year is really to travel more, take advantage of having all this equipment and material to make content for you guys because I'm somebody who doesn't like really post like that on my social medias I try and post on here more frequently than I do on my social medias but I don't know I'm just somebody who I feel like my pictures never come out good because I'm I don't feel like I'm photogenic when I do videos I feel like I don't I feel more comfortable when I do videos so I feel like um this year I definitely want to just start giving you guys more content so that I can so you guys can visualize who I am and like what I like to do and that would be something that would be beneficial to not only myself but you guys too who do tune in and watch so I definitely think that this year I'm going to make the best out of what I have because corona's not stopping your girl period but my camera's about to die. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mukbang. I know I didn't talk about too much. And I was kind of all over the place. But that's how my mind be when I'm eating. It just be all over the place. So I just thought that it'd be good if I just film it and then share it with you guys. So thank you guys so much. And um, don't forget to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.